We get a new hands-on video leaked of what to expect for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Speaking of galaxies, the new Galaxy Tab S4 just went official and it has some interesting features. And we get alleged specs of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro and that phone looks to rock. I'm Jaime Rivera and would you look at that? We were celebrating New Year's just recently and now we're already in August. Stay tuned for more, this is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with deals. If you're in the market for Apple products and we're already getting close to an update, back to school deals have just begun at B&H and they are focused on Apple. Particularly Apple Watch Series 3 is $90 off. If you're getting any iPad Pros, those are 180 bucks off. Now I depend on iPad Pros for a lot of what we do in the channel. So yeah, I have to recommend them. Same case for the Apple Watch. Now let's talk about the Honor Note 10 as a uh, well, the phone was just announced today and we were expecting a productivity device and instead we get a gaming phone. Care 970 processor, options for 6 or 8 gigs of RAM, options for 64 gigs of storage or more. Probably the craziest part are two things. The battery is 5,000 milliamp hours, which is a first, I believe, for a phone. My God, the second is the price tag. The phone in uh, Chinese currency is starting at $419, the equivalent, and I believe the most expensive is like $525. I, I, I'm hoping we got the numbers right, because that's cheap. That's crazy affordable for such a very, such a powerful phone, like seriously. Now let's talk about Huawei, since we already started talking about Honor. We hear that the company is already working on its Huawei Mate 20 Pro, and uh, well, the specifications look crazy. Karen 980 processor, and this is not just the number bump. Apparently this is the seven nanometer process making it to mobile devices. I don't think it's even available on PCs yet. I believe this would be pretty much the first seven nanometer process processor. In addition to six gigs of RAM, options for different storages, depending on whatever option you get. I believe it'll start at 128. And then battery, 4,200 milliamp hour, but we also hear that there is wireless charging, finally Huawei. Uh, in addition to other bells and whistles, this phone looks like a beast. Oh yeah, in display fingerprint scanner. We're wondering if we get the triple 40 megapixel camera options. We'll see. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. It was just announced. Our own Adam Lane was part of the announcement. We have hands-on photos and everything you want to know on our website in the link in the description. So far, you would say, yeah, it's just another Android tablet, but it's not. Actually, what Samsung did here is something genius. You remember back in the day when Google didn't allow Samsung to play with the operating system when it came to tablets? Well, now that Android tablets have pretty much died out, it seems that they're allowing Samsung to use their DeX user interface to be part of this tablet. So it actually looks like a very good productivity tablet here. And best of all, priced at $650. You can learn more in the description. We will keep you posted as soon as we have a unit for content. And finally, the hot news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. We continue getting leaks. We are just a few days away from the unpacked event and I cannot wait to see what we get. Now, there is a leaked video already on the internet showing pretty much everything we should expect. From the front, it doesn't really look much different to the current Galaxy Note 8, which is not necessarily a good thing. It's not that I didn't like it. It was just, I don't know, boxy in its design. And then the back seems to only change in the placement of the fingerprint scanner, which is okay in my opinion. I mean, so long as it's reachable, I don't really care. But uh, anyways, we'll see in the end what happens. For those of you holding on to a Galaxy Note 8, just remember this is probably the best time to list it on Swappa as it's been proven that whenever we're close to events, the value of phones is still good enough for you to be able to get a good resale value. You can learn more about that in the description as well. And in today's question, let us know what do you think? Do you like the design of the Galaxy Note 9? or not. Again, in my case, so long as it doesn't tear my jeans, as I mentioned in my After the Buzz, I'm fine. Fine, I'll buy better jeans. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to both our channels in English and Spanish for more videos like this one. And follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.